So I got my biggest payday yet from Robin Hood. 10 paychecks, which equals out to my, since I started this portfolio, <clears throat> my biggest payday yet with Robin Hood. Man, and I'm ready to show you guys exactly how much money I made this past March. And I know you guys are ready to see it too. So this is my <laughs> 10 paychecks I got from Robin Hood in March, 2020. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Michael Romero. If you don't know who I am, I'm a small time YouTuber, small time investor. Just trying to, you know what I'm saying? Help you guys out while helping myself out simultaneously. Hopefully you guys are learning from my mistakes and from my wins. Before we get into uh, the nitty gritty, I got a couple of announcements to make. Listen, I just finished a completely free ebook on credit. It's the five key principles of credit. It's understanding credit. Basically, it's a way for me to give back to anyone who needs it in this time of um, just, you know what's going on, the virus and people losing their jobs. It's my way to give back to you guys uh, or really whoever needs it. So if you have bad credit or you, you want to start your credit, um, this is a free ebook. All you need to do is comment below your email address and I will send you guys a this free copy a free copy of this ebook um like i said the five key principles to um uh, understanding credit and what credit is and i'll email it to you when it's ready to put out i finished it today but i'm still wrapping up little you know making a nice and pretty little details on it so probably within the next 10 days i'll be able to release it <laughs> also if you don't want to leave your email address in the comments if you go to my actual youtube page itself the home page if you click on the left top no, right top of your screen um, on my banner, I should have like a link to my email address and a link to my um, Instagram. Go to my Instagram, DM me on there, same thing, whatever. Or, you know the links in the description, free stocks for Robinhood for signing up using it, free stocks for Webull for signing up. Also another free stock, if you fund your account within the first 30 days with $100, you get a second free stock and I'll get a free stock as well. That's a little way to help this channel. Also guys, another thing, thank you guys so much for getting me to 450 before uh, April 1st, man. Thank you guys so much for that. Let's see if we can get to 500 by the end of April. Anyway, look, let's get into this phone. I know uh, y'all tired of hearing me talking. Okay guys, and look at the portfolio today. We are down about 3%, so close to 100 bucks. we're down. Um, on the week, we're up $51. On the month, we're down $700. In the past three months, we're down a little over 1100 bucks. But you guys know that this is a dividend portfolio, so I'm not too worried about the gains. I am worried about my dividends and the safety factor of my dividends. And boy, oh boy. My biggest contributor to this month, which is Ford, cut their dividend. So luckily I got this dividend for this month, but hopefully within the next two or three months they'll recoup and I should be able to get that dividend back. But if not, I'm still going to hold Ford, probably not going to add any more to it unless I see some good things going on with it. Um, but I am a long-term buy and hold strategist with this portfolio. So that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna hold it long term and see what happens. As you guys can see here for next month, April, I already have uh, one, two, three, four, five, five dividends just waiting. But look, let's go to March 2nd. I got paid, for owning 50 shares of Ford, I got paid $7.50, which is roughly 15 cents a share. Now, for Pfizer, March 6th, I got paid $1.52 total for owning four shares of Pfizer, and that's roughly $0.38 cents a share. Um, AGNC, AGNC, I got paid $1.77 for owning 11.092266 uh, shares of it, and that's roughly $0.16 cents a share. Oh, Realty Income. I got paid 24 cents for owning 1.012066 shares, and that's roughly 23 cents a share, a little over 23 cents a share. March 26, Washington Prime Group for owning two shares of it. I got paid 25 cents, which is roughly 12 cents a share. 
that's yeah March 16th and then March 16th again stag industrial incorporated paid me 60 cents for owning 5.036498 shares of this bad boy which is roughly 12 cents a share PSEC on March 19th paid me uh, $1.87 for owning 31.229714 shares of it, which is roughly six cents a share. That's awesome. Um, MJ on November 22nd, as no, yeah, on November 22nd, for only 25 shares, at 10 cents a share, I got paid $2.50, which is mm, not bad. Bank of America. March 27th, for owning seven shares at 18 cents a share, I got paid $1.26 for owning it. Um, also, I don't have the drip enabled um, on here. I'm going back and manually putting everything in because uh, I like to see the difference it brings down my uh, dollar cost average. Um, but that's why I do it like that. I like to see how much it'll bring down. And usually, it doesn't matter even if the stock's real high and it's like $1 or you know $1.20 or whatever, it'll bring it down a couple cents, which is rather good over the long term. Um, right now, you know, it doesn't really matter, but over the long term, doing that consistently for months and years will definitely help you out. The last stock, SPHD, which I just did a video about a couple videos ago, I released it. Um, SPHD, March 31st, which is today, the day that I'm recording this, um, for owning 12.04176 shares of SPHD at 15 cents a share, almost 16 cents a share, I got paid $1.89 a share. So from 10 dividend paychecks, I got paid $19.40. Now before that, the highest month was $16.14. But, but listen, if you wanna check these charts out yourself and also uh, a whole spreadsheet detailing, going into detail on my position, um, how many shares I have at you know what price I bought it and pretty much telling you the uh, dividend yield, how much I'm gonna get a year from it, all of that. Um, if you want access to that, this free dividend spreadsheet for my Robinhood portfolio, um, there's a link in the description, click it, it's absolutely free. Guys, go ahead and check that out and let me know what you think about it in the comments below. You can even copy it yourself and use that spreadsheet for yourself. But yeah, one thing I do want to talk about is Ford cutting their dividend. Now, Ford is my biggest position in this portfolio. I have, as far as shares wise, I have 65 shares, 65.15 shares, but my average cost is $8.04. It's roughly 9.91% of my portfolio. Um, so, they cut their dividend share because they're at a, um, the dividend ratio payout is at a deficit. Uh, meaning that they're actually paying more than they're making in money. Now I'm gonna tell you why this is important in a minute. They're paying more than they're making. Uh, PE ratio, not PE ratio, payout ratio. So guys, you'll see here, dividend payment is cut, it's none. Let's show the payout ratio, if they even have it still. Yeah, <laughs> look, the payout ratio is 6,000%. Okay, I'm gonna explain to you right now. 100% of a payout ratio, if they're using 100% of their payout ratio, this means that they're using all the money that they're making in earnings to pay their dividends. If they're using their, the dividend payout ratio is less than 100%, they're using less than the money that they make to pay out. Now, if they're using more then it's gonna be over 100%, and this is 6,000%. But one way that companies are able to do this is they have an excess amount of money on the side, you know, um, to be able to do things like this. You know, there's certain companies that will probably never cut their dividend, um, or they try not to. So like AT&T, for instance, AT&T is above 100%, but they 
do certain things in order to not cut that dividend to keep their shareholders in. Now, one reason why Ford dropped the way it did when all this happened is because they cut their dividend. And as you can see, this free fall effect here, it just basically got trashed because not only um, is the stock market going down, but they cut their dividend. So, you know, it's a lose-lose situation for this. But like I said, I'm not worried about um, that for this. I do believe Ford is going to come, you know, going to be able to recoup from this um, as long as, you know, the world doesn't end. You got to think, Ford has been around for a long time. It survived the Great Depression. Um, it survived Black Monday. Just pretty much everything that has happened since its inception. And it's just a very resilient stock. Uh, it sucks that it cut its dividend. But, you know, in times like this, you really have to go back and look at your portfolio and see, okay, if this cuts a dividend, am I going to keep it or am I going to let it go? Um, and I plan on keeping this right here. <laughs> but look, guys, listen. If you have any doubts of any type of, uh, any doubts, anything you have in your portfolio, here's what you do. Go to Yahoo Finance, look it up, look at the payout ratio. If the payout ratio, let's say it's under 75%. That is a good, good thing. Now, if it's 100 or over, you really need to look at that company and see if it's going to be able to withstand the next, you know, couple months to couple years and what proce procedures they have in place to stop their dividend from being cut. If they're at risk of being cut and they're going to cut their dividend, is it worth keeping that stock? That's really a decision we all may have to come to in these following months or years. But listen, it's okay. These things happen. This is all learning experiences for us. But look, guys, listen. If you find value out of this video, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm because it helps this channel more than you guys know and it helps support me. It helps YouTube push this channel out a little bit further. Listen, also, if you're still watching this video and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and consider clicking that red subscribe button to join this little family we got going on, guys. And if you want to continue your journey to financial enlightenment with me, all you got to do is click one of these videos. And remember, the free ebook on credit. Let me know if you want it. If you do want it, you got to send me your email address either in the comments below or email, email it to me. All right, guys, listen, you'll have a good day.